I'm Jason. I'm Todd. This is our little child, Ziggy. Say hello, Ziggy. Hi, Ziggy. And we're the Vamping Guys. Good morning everybody out there in the YouTube world. Guess what today is? It is our house listing day. The realtor's coming over in about another hour. We have the house completely downsized and staged. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to talk about all the things that we have done to prepare for our home sell. So you can already see from this shot, I have painted the driveway and we're gonna start walking in a little bit closer and I'll talk about all the outside things that I've done and then we'll take you inside. Uh, right up here, I painted the driveway a few weeks ago with a driveway concrete stain. Over to the right side, I power washed all of the Mexican tile to get all of that nice and bright and cleaned up. Over here, I did the same thing. I laid down some more rocks, weeded, all that stuff. They say when you stage the house that you should plant some flowers by the front entrance. So this was the very last thing I did. I planted some really pretty flowers. I repainted the front screen door to give it a much more brighter and nicer appearance. Right here is our patio. I cleaned off all of that and got it nice and bright looking as well. Okay, so now we're gonna go around to the back of the house. Now, for a lot of you who have been following our channel for a while, you know that we have been planning this for about three years. So I also wanted to do some things to invest into the home to make it much more sellable. And today is the day we're gonna be listing. But about three years ago, I had a brand new air conditioning unit put inside and outside of the house. Another thing I did was I power washed and cleaned off the paver patio. and I sold on Craigslist all of the patio furniture. That was one of the very first things that I did. And I'll talk a little bit about what we did inside as far as getting rid of furniture and things like that. I also power washed off the back pavers. That'll make like a nice little gazebo area if they choose to do that. I also cleaned off all of the accents along the back. Sorry about the dog barking. All right, so we're gonna go over to the shed. And the other thing I did outside was I completely cleaned out the shed. So you can see there's the lawnmower. I have emptied off and cleaned out all of the shelves and just left for the new buyers what uh, I feel that they're gonna need. And then there's a little top shelf and I left some really pretty flower pots up there too. So uh, hopefully that'll make them happy. And because we are downsizing, I am also leaving the lawn mower and I'm leaving that can of gas and also that stuff back on the back shelf. That's all gonna stay with the house. Okay, so let's go inside and we'll start with the garage. Okay, we're in the garage. As you can see, it's completely cleaned out. I just got done painting the garage floor. Look how nice and new that looks. We are definitely wanting top dollar for this house. So I spent this past year just doing weekly small projects so it was much more manageable. And we are pretty much all done. All the things you see left on the shelves will be coming with us. And as you can see, it is not that much at all. I'll just kind of turn around over on this side. All of that stuff is staying with the house for the new owners. 
Right over here is the outdoor fridge and that's gonna be staying in the house as well. Another thing that I did a few weeks ago, I cleaned out the fridge really, really good and purged all that. I bought a bunch of storage bins. I still have some left right here. Uh, I had done a video about that, but we have most of the stuff inside and outside packed up and over at the in-laws garage. All right, so let's go inside now. Okay, so here is the sunroom. About a year ago, I repainted the sunroom to get it nice and bright. All of the furniture you see in here is staying with the house. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I did scrub and clean the grout and the tile really, really good. That's Siggy's bathroom, by the way. He's paper trained. But this did not take that long to clean. And you know, a lot of you guys know I'm kind of a neat freak and a little OCD. So we keep a very clean house to begin with. So a lot of our downsizing projects really aren't that challenging. We're not quarters, we're not pack rats. Uh, I would say probably the most challenging part of our downsizing was having to get up in the attic and get rid of all of the Christmas and Halloween decorations. Okay, so here's the kitchen. Another big project that I did one day because I'm trying to save money so I did it myself but I scrubbed the grout and tile really good to brighten all that up and you can see the floor looks brand new. This high top bar table will be staying with the house and again uh, about a week ago we just did a really deep cleaning of the house to get it ready for staging. We did have a baker's rack right here and I also sold that on Craigslist. So a little tip for you guys, when you know that you're getting ready to do this and you know that you're gonna be getting rid of like larger items, go ahead and put an ad on Craigslist and just see if you can sell it and get rid of it. Another really cool tip is that Salvation Army, which they came to our house three times this past year, they will send out a truck and haul away all of your things that you don't want anymore. They do have certain rules, like they don't take like office equipment and things like that, but we were able to use them and it was amazing. You just schedule the day you want the truck to come and they haul it away for you. Now, as you can see, we have the house stage ready. I polished also the granite countertops really nice but we have everything off the countertops. I polished the stainless steel sink. I also polished all of the stainless steel appliances. And the only thing that we pretty much have left on the countertop is our coffee maker because I love coffee. I will be removing that when our realtor uh, tells us that they have somebody coming over to look at the house. The other thing that we recently did was we organized the pantry and we got rid of a lot of stuff so we got all the things off the floor that's Ziggy's food right down there we're going to be taking Ziggy to live over at the in-laws so I will be getting rid of that off the pantry floor and again we just did a really deep cleaning I polished all of the brushed nickel hardware I even cleaned the top of the fridge which people Forget about that, and so do we, and that thing was just disgusting. But it's all clean. I also cleaned out and purged the refrigerator, but it's nice and clean. Uh, let's see, what else did I do in here? Oh, um, another important thing when you're staging, you wanna clean all the glass. So we're really lucky. We have really neat windows where they actually open up from the inside. So I spent last weekend cleaning all the windows in the entire house on the inside and the outside. Okay, so now we're coming into the dining room. Same thing, pledged and polished all the woodwork, dusted everything, dusted the top of the lights, the inside of the lights, Again, you just want to do a really, really deep cleaning when you're staging the house. But right here is our living room area. And right before we start having showings, we are going to polish the hardwood bamboo floors. But you can see they're already nice and clean. 
but uh, if we put a little bit of polish on them, it even makes them look much more shinier. Okay, so now we're gonna pan around into the living area and kind of the same thing. You just wanna do a really, really good deep cleaning. So I did the windows. We have removed all of our personal items because when you're staging a house, you want the potential buyers to envision the home as theirs. And they're getting a really good deal because everything that you see left in this house, except for some of the art on the walls, everything is staying with the house. So for example, they're getting that 60 inch TV. I'm even leaving the receiver. They're getting the subwoofer and we have surround sound wired with inside the house. They're getting the couches, they're getting the coffee table, uh, they're getting the lamps, they're getting that piece of artwork that Todd made. So they're really going to be lucking out. They're not going to have to do anything with this house. It is turnkey ready. Now another thing that we did in advance was right here on that wall where you see the picture, we had a beautiful hutch and we sold that to a friend because we wanted to really open up the whole dining room area and that hutch right there was just huge. So it really opens up the space because again, when you're staging the house, you want it to be very bright and open and airy. Now we're gonna come down through the hallway. Another thing I did about a year ago, this was just regular, just boring white tile. We did not want to pay to have actual new tile put in, so I had this tile resurfacing company come out and resurface the tile. But you can see how beautiful this is. And it really adds some beautiful warmth into the bathroom. It adds a lot of contrast to the bathroom. But we have the bathroom staged and ready. I even went down into the molding with a Q-tip and got all the dust out of all of these like crevices. Uh, I literally spent Saturday and Sunday from seven in the morning until probably 10 o'clock that night just cleaning everything I could clean in this house. Because again, if you guys want top dollar, you want this house to look immaculate. And that is our goal because we need to make top dollar because most of that money is going to be going to the down payment on our fifth wheel. All right, so now we're going to come over into the office. And another thing we did in here, we had a, whoop, let me pan around, there's Todd's keyboard. We're going to be actually taking this over today to the in-laws. But we had a futon and Salvation Army came out and picked up that futon. That was probably about six months ago. So as you can see, this was very manageable and I know I keep repeating that, but we've had people ask us questions about what we've done for downsizing and my best advice I can give you is give yourself time. You know, when you're downsizing and going into the tiny home minimalistic lifestyle, you have to prepare for that so you know most people have way way advanced notice and with us we have been doing planning this for three years saving up money for the truck blah 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 so uh, again this was very very easy and very manageable for us the other thing that we did was we repainted the office and just made it a prettier kind of warmer yellow Sorry, it's kind of, uh, the camera's kind of uh, washing with the, uh, the light coming in. Uh, the other thing, let me turn around this way so the camera can look better. Uh, we're also going to leave the chair and we're leaving the desk. And we're also going to be leaving the, both of the bookcases. And I know it's a little bit dark because it's because of that window. It's just washing everything out. Sorry, guys. Okay, so the office was not that big of a deal. All we did was just get rid of the futon and we repainted. And the very, very first thing that we did about a year ago is we completely cleaned out the guest bedroom. And we were using this for some of our videos for our YouTube channel. We actually had this back wall right here with our fairy light backdrop and uh, you see that every time uh, when you watch our video, you see that in the intro. But we had a lot of furniture in here. We had a chest. Uh, we had a chair over here. 
Uh, we had a bunch of like uh, shelving on the walls and we also had a really, really huge day bed. So again, we just got everything kind of um, organized, packed up and ready, and then we called Salvation Army and they came out and they uh, took it all. And they even came in here and uh, got rid of it all. Uh, this room was probably um, the hardest to deal with because we had so much stuff on the walls. So we had to do a lot of like spackling in the holes and repainting. Uh, this was kind of like our overflow closet and as you can see, let me turn on the light, it is completely empty. And I don't know, maybe about a month ago, the other thing we did, because you know when people come in to look at homes, you want your closets to be as empty as they can be and also repainted. So we repainted all of our closets to get all the scruff marks out. All right, so let's go in the bedroom. Hey, Ziggy, how are you, honey? Hey, baby. Hey, sweetie pie. I know you know something's going on today. All right, so here's the bedroom. And we have this completely staged and ready. And I would say probably the hardest part here in the bedroom, but we kind of did it in shifts. We probably did three purges of our clothes in the bedroom. And again, we just threw them in garbage bags and Salvation Army took them away. And we're gonna probably even do one more purge of our clothes. But we scrubbed and we cleaned, we did paint touch-ups, that beautiful piece of art staying with the house and all the furniture that you see, this is all staying with the house. Now I'll open up my closet. But you can see here, I still have like a bunch of ties. I still need to purge those. But look how empty the closet is. And then those are my clothes shoved over there. I got everything pretty much off the closet floor. Oh, and those are our travel uh, bags right there. We're actually gonna be going on a cruise in March to treat ourselves. So we will be taking about a two to three week uh, break doing YouTube videos, just to let you guys know. But we also went in and we repainted all of the inside of the closets. And then over in the bathroom, let me turn on the light. The other thing I recently did when I did the kitchen tile, I also scrubbed and cleaned and brightened up the bathroom tile as well. But look how beautiful and clean that is. And then here is the bathroom area. That piece of artwork is stained. And then here is our double vanity. And this was a little bit of a challenge because, you know, we were kind of lazy, but this vanity all through the front, it had like, you know, water spots, it had drips of toothpaste, hairspray, hair products. It, it, was, it was pretty nasty. But I went in and got some really nice uh, polish and I shined up the whole uh, vanity. And the same thing I did with the kitchen countertops, I did a stone uh, granite polish to shine up the vanity countertops. But we really cleaned the heck out of this bathroom as well. Uh, we also have block glass. So I did get a calcium rust remover and I really cleaned up the glass really good to get all of the water spots and the hard water deposits. And then right up here is the shower and I kind of did the same thing with that. And also with the shower head, you know, over years it can collect a lot of like calcium uh, hard water deposits and so can the glass tile accents. But you can see the bathroom's nice and clean. So I hope I answered most of your downsizing questions and what we did. It was very easy. You just have to stay committed and just do it in baby steps. Do one project every week so you don't get overwhelmed. And then when it's time to list your house, which for us is today, we're so excited. The realtor will be here in about another 30 minutes and we hope to sell our house. We're being realistic. Most of the homes in our neighborhood have been selling under five days, but because we are selling a couple of months before our original May uh, sell date, 
because everything's just going way ahead of planned, uh, we uh, are, you know, being realistic as far as, you know, our house could be on the market uh, for a couple of weeks. But we're really hoping in the next couple of weeks we should get an offer, if not more offers. I'm sure you guys would agree we have our house as stage ready as it can be. You know, the new buyers, all they have to do is just turn the key and they're ready to live here. They have nothing that they have to do. And this should also give us top dollar and who knows, we might get some multiple bids and make even a little bit more money. So we will see. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this downsizing video. If you have any questions about something that I might have missed or not covered, that you're interested in about starting your downsizing process into the RV full-time living lifestyle or the tiny home, or if you just want to downsize to an apartment and sell your house, uh, just let me know. Um, I'll be happy to answer any type of uh, financial questions like what we've been doing as far as getting our debt paid down and all of that good stuff as well. But anyway, guys, until next time, you guys have a fabulous day and stay tuned. And we so appreciate you guys watching and subscribing to our channel. comment to say hi if you like us please subscribe and if you don't our little fluffy dog will attack you Arr!